So I've got a couple of questions to pose to you before we start. The first one is, do you want to make a difference to children's lives? The second one, do you want to work with children in a health, education or early year setting? And lastly, do you enjoy coursework, not just exams? So if you answered yes to any of those questions, then child development could be just the right course for you. So child development is a Cambridge national qualification. So it's the equivalent to a GCSE in both its size and its rigour. However, it has a different name because it's got a high coursework content. So GCSEs tend to be um, very much exam based with a, maybe a tiny bit of coursework. But because this course is 50% coursework and 50% exam, um, it can't classify as a GCSE. So it's called a Cambridge national qualification. Um, Local colleges accept this course. It's a nationally recognised course. It counts towards um, the school's progress eight data. It counts towards pupils average point scores when they go to college. Um, and I'll talk to you a little bit more about the gradings um, as we go on. So we follow the OCR um, syllabus. We study a really wide variety of different topics all the way through from um, the reproductive systems, contraception, um, conception, pregnancy, labour, birth, um, how a child develops. We look at safety in the home. We look at childhood illnesses. Um, it's a really, really broad course um, in terms of its content. So um, the course is taught in a, a variety of different ways to engage pupils and enhance learning. As I've said before, it's 50% exam. We do the exam in year 10. Um, so because it's a Cambridge National um, qualification and not a GCSE, we have a little bit of flexibility in terms of when we do the exam. So we can do the exam in year 10 or year 11. I choose for my pupils to do the exam in year 10. Um, the reason being that at the end of year 11, they're trying to revise for you know maybe 10 different subjects. Um, and they're very, very stressed. There's a lot to try and take on board. By doing the exam in year 10, it means that this should be the only subject um, that they are studying for. Um, and therefore, they're less stressed. They can put all their time and attention into this one exam. Um, should people not be happy with um, their final exam score, they can resit the exam in January of year 11 um, at a cost to the pupils. There won't be any more lesson time to go over the material again because we'll be doing the coursework. So pupils would have to engage in um, learning at home and revision at home um, should they choose to, to resit the exam. Um, the course leads on to a variety of different courses at college and university, which I'll talk to you a little bit about in a bit. Um, like I said, the exam paper is done in year 10. Um, that is worth 50% of the final grade. Pupils then do two different coursework tasks. The first one is worth 25%. That is all about equipment and nutritional needs from um, of children from birth to five years. And the second one is about the development of a child and developmental milestones. Uh, we do have some virtual babies that pupils can choose to take home for the weekend um, if they want to. But they're, they're not a part of the course. They're just something um, quite fun for, for pupils to have a go at seeing how uh, needy and demanding um, a newborn baby actually can be. So in terms of the two pieces of coursework, um, the first one, pupils are asked to provide, uh, uh, produce an information booklet for a local nursery. So there's a new nursery that's going to be opening up. Pupils have to do research on the equipment that that nursery would need. So they talk about feeding equipment, travel equipment, clothing and footwear that they might need, um, sleeping equipment. Obviously, babies would um, be having naps during the day. Then they do um, quite a lot of work on nutrition, to nutritional needs of children. So they look at breastfeeding, bottle feeding, combination feeding. They look at weaning. Um, they look at uh, the Eat Well Guide, um, what a healthy balanced diet is, macronutrients, micronutrients. And then the last part of this coursework, pupils um, do some research on what option would be best for a mother um, who's going to return to work. So whether it's best for her to breastfeed, bottle feed or combination feed. So they do lots of independent research. Then they come into in lessons that they'll make a bottle. So we're going to food tech to do that. Um, and then they evaluate, um, you know, how, how well they did, what they found easy, what, what they didn't, etc. The last bit of coursework that we do at the end of year 11 is about the development 
of a child from birth to five years. So it's all about um, the physical development, fine and gross motor skills, intellectual development um, and social development. People then look at different types of play um, and then they have to visit a child. So to know a child under the age of five is very helpful. Um, they have to go and um, play with that child, assess where they think they are for their age in, in terms of their physical, intellectual and social development. Then they come back to school, plan an activity to do with the child and then they go back again um, and visit the child again, do that activity and see whether it's helped that child develop um, in, in the, the area that they chose. So in terms of career opportunities, um, there's more than the ones I've listed here, but this course leads really well into things like midwifery or um, primary teaching, social working, uh, nursing if it's with children, working as a nursery worker, paediatrician, speech and language therapist. Um, you know, it leads into quite a lot of um, different jobs. Um, but I think the, the biggest part of this course, I, I feel it really does prepare, um, prepare pupils for um, life when you know they may choose to have have children when they're older um, we look at everything all the child's needs we look at um, everything from contraception um, birth options pain relief that's available at birth um, different emergency procedures that might be um, have to be performed like cesareans episiotomy forceps on twos um, it's a really really fun and engaging so in terms of the next steps, um, local colleges do accept this course, like I was saying at the beginning, because it's not called a GCC, it's Cambridge Nationals because it's got the 50% coursework and 50% exam. Um, Peter Simmons like pupils to get a merit level two, which is equivalent to a GCSE grade six if they want to go on and do A levels um, in other subjects. Um, so the, the grading for this course is past merit distinction and distinction star. Um, all the grading can be found on the OCR website, um, should, should you wish to have a look. Um, if people wanted to go on and study childcare, Peter Simmons uh, do a T level um, in, in childcare. Eastley College is probably the main local provider um, and they do lots, uh, a wide variety um, of different courses at, at level two, which is GCSE level, or level three, um, which is A level standard. Um, if you've got any further questions, please don't hesitate to um, contact me at school. Um, if you email the school, they'll forward it on and I'll endeavour to help you um, as much as possible.